Hello YouTube. I am pretty excited. I am almost at 1,000 views. Um, and today I wanted to share with you some of the stuff that is going on around the world and I've been watching some videos about what's going on and supposedly people have been seeing strange stuff going on like demons coming out of the pit or you know um people have been seeing strange apparitions appear in the sky or you know um people have been seeing bodies just floating around and I'm not sure if I buy it. I think maybe that it's some kind of mind control. Um, could be Illuminati mind control. But um, if you read the Bible that it says that I I forget where it says it. I think it's in Revelation somewhere. But uh, that even if it were possible, the elect would be deceived. I think that's the way it went. Or, even if it were possible, Satan would try to deceive the elect. Okay, so, um, don't you think that maybe some of the odd things that are happening in our world are deceptions I mean for sure there's demons out there and um, I really don't think that God is allowing you know what I take that back um demons do harass people and harm people but a demon cannot possess a Christian person the Bible says light and darkness cannot dwell in the same place. So if a Christian has Jesus dwelling inside of them, demons cannot possess somebody and Satan will not possess anybody. There's only two people in the history of ever that will ever be possessed by Satan. That is Judas Iscariot, the one that betrayed Jesus and the Antichrist that will appear in the last days. Um, and, um, let's see, what was my point? Yeah, anyway, 
So Satan cannot possess you. Um, Satan will not possess anybody. If anyone's getting possessed, it is because they invited a demon into them um, some way or another playing with Ouija boards, um, you know, doing, trying to contact the dead, um, palm reading, uh, uh, you know, the astrology, uh, anything like that. And, uh, you know, magic, sorcery, any, uh, that kind of stuff, um, it's divination, and, um, I'm not talking about, like, magic tricks. Uh, you know, feel free to do magic tricks, but, uh, you know, it, it's divination to do real magic, and, um, I personally would not get involved with magic tricks because, you know, it would just be mirroring something that, you know, Satan and his demons have done. And, um, for some of you out there that haven't read the Bible thoroughly, um, or maybe haven't read it at all, you know, um, magic is definitely something that exists, and I'm not just talking about, um, magic tricks, um, I am talking about real magic, um, and when someone does magic, they are calling on demons to do something for them. Um, <clears throat> okay, so in the Old Testament, um, God told Moses to bring... Israel out of Egypt, and, um, Pharaoh didn't want to let Moses take the Israelites out of Egypt, so, um, you know, Moses plagued them, you know, by God, uh, and, uh, after a while, um, Moses, uh, went into Pharaoh to, to say, you know, let my people go. And, um, oh, it was Aaron and Moses, by the way. Um, and... Uh, uh, what's his name? Pharaoh, uh, brought out some of his sorcerers and, um, and Moses, or I guess they challenged Moses and, uh, Moses 
threw down his staff and it turned into a snake and uh, Pharaoh's sorcerers threw down their staffs and they turned into snakes but Moses's staff or Moses's snake ate the other two snakes and it returned to Moses as a staff. So that's just one of the instances in the Bible where um, where there was actually magic. Um, I don't remember who it was. I think it was King Saul. Uh, and he went to the Witch of Endor, and I'm not sure who it was that she conjured up, but um, uh, she conjured up a spirit. And it wasn't a demonic spirit. It was actually, um, I, man, I, I forget who it was. I want to say it was Isaiah, but I don't think it was Isaiah. Um, anyway, God told um, God told Saul, I think it was, that he was going to die, that him and his son were going to die because of con using a spiritist to conjure up, um, it was Samuel conjure up the spirit of Samuel. Um, that's another story in the Bible that talks about using magic. And then there was Simon the Sorcerer. Um, and this really isn't that much proof. Um, it says he was doing magic and casting spells. Uh, it doesn't say a whole lot about it, but um, that is another instance where there is garbage like that, you know, magic and whatnot. And then, let's see, there is Bar Jesus, and I want to say, I know it's in the New Testament, I want to say in Acts, Anyway, um, Paul went somewhere to preach and he came across somebody named Bar Jesus and, um, he was, you know, a sorcerer and a false prophet. And it really doesn't say a lot about him. I'm sure you could probably find more instances in the Bible where there are, um, where there are uses of magic and, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it for this time. I'm not going to say I'm an expert on this. Um, go search it out for yourselves. Um, and as always, grace and peace to you, and God bless you.